Hi, Felix Felix. How's that, Felix? I love when we go out in the backyard and you call for Felix and he comes running down the tree to get peanuts from you. Or refuses the peanuts and he wants acorns instead. Oh, he wants the, the acorns crushed so he can open them. He's very, very picky, isn't he? Felix brings us so much joy. He comes to visit and he'll sit on our lap begging for peanuts as long as we will hand them to him. It was hard releasing him. He has stayed uh, less wild than any of the other rescues. Well, I love the fact that we can call him and offer him peanuts and he just wants to come up and say hi to you and then come over and say hi to me and then that's pretty much it. He's good and then he'll go back on his way sometimes. He might take a peanut, might not. Yeah, out of a courtesy, but it's not that he's hungry or anything. He just genuinely comes down to say hi and then he goes back up. I think he may be one of the sweetest squirrels I've ever raised. I think he really likes his nest box. He seems to enjoy having a place that's safe to go to. Yeah, I'm glad that he's taken to his nest box. I mean, he's there every night. Even whenever it's drizzly and raining, he goes in there. Sometimes there's too many squirrels running around, he goes in there. It's, it's a nice little haven. That's for sure. And the way that he'll sometimes chase you, you can actually play chase with the squirrel. <laughs> or set him down and put your hands up and kind of shake him a little bit and then he flips around and does Dances, his, and dances. runs up your leg. He certainly is a lot more active than when we first found him. I didn't think he was going to make it when we found him by the pond, wet and cold. I mean, there was almost no movement whenever, we, whenever I first found him. Then we started feeding him the Espelac puppy formula. He took to that so well, probably better than any other rescue I've ever tried to, to feed with the syringe. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't think I've ever had any of them do that before. He's, he's already working on that. Signaling. Signaling. Hang on. Hang on. You could see him gaining strength, and then he had that bout with ammonia. I thought he was going to die at that point. He was struggling so much breathing. Thank goodness for antibiotics. He rebounded on that one, too. Yeah. And he is feisty, feisty, feisty. He's getting squirrelier all the time. We definitely tried to teach him as many survival skills as possible. He learned how to jump here on the couch from armrest to armrest. I think you can do it. There, you made it. Look at you, you made it. That was Felix, he made the jump. You're learning to jump, aren't you? Are you gonna jump back the other way? You can do it. You can do it, Felix. You did it again. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. Yes, you did it again. You're doing it so good. Look at you jumping back and forth. That's a good Felix. That is a good, good Felix. I think that's why he wants to get up on your shoulders. He wants to be taller than you. It's he's such a cute little guy and he's so affectionate. He just loves to have his head scratched. His back scratched. I think so. Can you dance? Yeah. And you can see better too. He was very lucky we found him. I know it's so icky. I'm sorry. It's raining, I know. Get in your house where it's dry, okay? Okay? Say goodnight. Goodnight, Felix.